여러분 안녕하세요. Welcome to Crossword Puzzle. I'm Tommy Lee. Today it is our seventh episode, and the theme for today is dance. 오늘의 주제는 바로 추억이에요. First things first. Let's take a look at all of the questions. 그러면 함께 보시면서 빠르게 풀어보세요. Today's crossword puzzle. Across number one. Listen to each step in English and try to figure out the answer. Number one. A swan dances at the lake. Number two. The nutcracker dances. Number three. Do lots of turns while wearing a leotard. Number four. Walk with one's toes pointed out. Number five. Females are ballerinas, and males are ballerinos. Question: What is this? Ballet. Down number one. In break dancing, what do you call this move in which you balance on your head and spin in a circle? Head spin. Across number two, watch a self interview and try to answer the question. Hi, my name is Denny Hong. I'm one of the new MCs for the show Kim Dae Kyun's Toy King. Now, I really enjoy dancing, so here's the quiz. What do you call this dance that makes rhythmical clicking sounds by the metal plates that are nailed to the sole of the shoe? One more time. What do you call this dance that makes rhythmical clicking sounds by the metal plates that are nailed to the sole of the shoe? Down number two. In the following children's song, what word goes in the blank? I have a blank. Roll that red ball down to town. 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 Ball. Across number three, in the movie *Scent of a Woman*, Al Pacino says this while dancing: "If you make a mistake, if you get all tangled up, you just blank on." Down number three. When you say I can't dance, I'm a bad dancer. You can also say I have two left blank. What goes in the blank? Feet. Across number four. What is the common word that fills in the blanks? Taylor Swift, blank, it off. Swinging blue jeans, hippy hippy, blank. Sistar, blank, it. Shake. Number four. 
When a group of people are summoned to a designated location at a specified time to perform for a brief time, it's called a blank mob. What is this? Flash. Across number five. Which one of the following five words is relevant to dance? Five, four, three, two, one. Samba. Down number five. This is a traditional Hawaiian dance. Try to arrange the letters in the correct order. U, H, A, L. Hula. Then let's go on to across number one, our first question. Let's go! Across 1번 B, B로 시작하고 총 6개 알파벳으로 구성된 영어 단어입니다. 네, 첫 번째 문제는 바로 across number one. 이번 문제는 다섯 가지의 힌트를 들으시고 바로 what. 무엇인지를 한번 맞춰보시는 건데요. 잘 들어보시고 한번 맞춰보세요. Listen to each step in English and try to figure out the answer. Number one. A swan dances at the lake. Number two. The nutcracker dances. Number three. Do lots of turns while wearing a leotard. Number four, walk with one's toes pointed out. Number five, females are ballerinas and males are ballerinos. Question, what is this? 자, what is this? 정답 아실 것 같나요? 일단 힌트를 다시 한번 검토해 볼게요. Number one, a swan dances at the lake. 백조가 호수에서 춤을 추고 있다고 하는데 어떤 음이 떠올라요. 따라라라라라라. 네, 정말 큰 힌트예요. Number two, the nutcracker dances. 자, 호두까기 인형이 춤을 추고 있대요. Number three, do lots of turns while wearing a leotard. 자, do lots of turns, 많이 돈다, do lots of spins while wearing a leotard. Leotard는 바로 그딱 달라붙는 옷이에요. Number four, walk with one's toes pointed out. 자, 한국말로 toes pointed out is 팔자 걸음이에요. And last but not least is number five. Females are ballerinas. 자, 여자들은 ballerina라고 하고요. And males are ballerinos. 남자들은 ballerino라고 불러요. 그러면 what is this? 정답 이제 아실 것 같죠? 확인해 볼게요. Ballet. 자, across number one의 정답은 ballet. Let's put it into the puzzle. The answer is ballet. 그럼 다음 문제는 down number one. A. A가 포함된 알파벳 여덟 개로 이루어진 영어 단어입니다. 첫 번째 제가 먼저 문제를 낼 테니까요. 잘 들어보세요. Listen carefully. In break dancing, what do you call this move in which you balance on your head and spin in a circle? 자, 문제를 다시 한번 볼게요. In break dancing, 자, break dancing이라는 춤 안에서는 What do you call this move? 이 동작이 뭐라고 불리나요? In which you balance on your head and spin in a circle. 
자 거꾸로 머리에 이제 중심을 잡아서 막 도는 건데요. 이 동작이 영어로 어떻게 될까요? 자 그러면 down number one 정답을 퍼즐판을 통해 한번 확인해 볼게요. Let's check the answer. 네, 정답은 head spin. head 머리 그리고 spin 돌다 머리를 돌리는 춤이죠. 자 그러면 다음 문제는 across ebon p. P로 끝나고 세 개의 알파벳으로 이루어진 영어 단어입니다. 자 그러면 이번 문제는 